Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist here with a review of a Macross toy. And it's by Yamato. And it's the YF-19! GNU-DO version. Or GNU-DO, as I like to call it, because I totally get everything right all the time. As far as I understand, this is basically Yamato entering the arena that was populated almost exclusively by Reveltech. The box is definitely stylish and really makes you wonder, like, wow, this is Yamato Engineering without the extraneous inclusion of a transformation. I wonder how this will turn out. Also, the package very graciously reminds us that we must be 15 or up to enjoy this because the product may contain functional sharp point. Anyway, let's rip this open and take a look inside. Here's my password, guys! Well, I'd like to say these are instructions, but, um, I got nothing. It's kind of minimalist. Not too much in here. I mean, that could actually be to quite a nice artistic effect, all things considered. Gotta love that lack of twist ties or really anything outside of friction holding them in. I'm just gonna clean this up. I'll be right back. Well, there is definitely one thing this guy's doing a little bit better than any Revel tech, which is look like he's standing still in a relaxed manner. And I've actually heard that is one of the drawing points of the new dough, is that they kind of are the antithesis of Reveltech, in that Reveltech is full of crazy Yamaguchi splayed leg, uh, look at me, I'm about to do something crazy, epic, awesome, whereas the Gnu Doughs are more about Hey, I'm line art accurate and stuff, and I look pretty calm when I'm not doing things. So, I guess that if you really, really want crazy Reveltech posing, this might not be your cup of tea, but if you're one of those guys who loves the line art, or just prefers to have a shelf of guys who are standing still and standing ready to fight, rather than in the middle of a fight, uh, it's looking like this might be a bit of a better deal for you. His posability, though, is quite nice, and I've got to say, too, the plastic quality is superb. It feels uh, beyond dead solid. It's like ABS+. plus. I'm not sure if that's really a thing or not. It feels like um, these joints are sort of semi-limited ball joints, but not in a bad way. So while perhaps they don't move all over the place, everywhere they do move feels very intentional. Like, uh, everything about this is thoughtful and collected. Um, also, I kind of like how these things are on ball joints, because they didn't really need to be, but it adds a, a certain layer of posability to them, so you can have them kind of splaying out behind them in various different ways, or kind of rustling in the wind, like, check it out, I'm totally standing on a rooftop and my long pants are billowing behind me. Also, I like these kneecap covers. I uh, don't really know why, but... They're very pleasing. The ankle posability as well, again, I, I kind of wish this could move a little bit more tilt-wise, but you get quite a bit of movement in there. Everything on here also, as I said, it doesn't feel fragile at all. Like the plastic solidity, the joints also feel smooth and solid. Um, again, kind of as, as an antithesis to Reveltech, nothing is clicking here. Uh, this is a lot more like a Figma, at least from my, as of this recording, experience with Figma of a Figma, but it is nice that you don't have to hear all the click, 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 click all the time. Not to say I don't like the click, it's just that a little bit too much of the click can kind of... You can overdose on anything, really, you know. Too much click, too much smoothness, too many squishy boobs. By the way, this guy's boob is not squishy at all, which I guess is a bit of a disappointment, but, uh... Oh well, you gotta take your victories where you can find them. As for accessories, he's kind of lacking, but... He's got everything he really needs. He's got fists on his hands right now, and he comes with a pair of kind of calm, open hands, which is, uh, again, suiting with the theme that this guy's not a super dynamic dude. He's just, he's the robot. Take it or leave it. And he's got a gun-holding hand for his gun. Pretty simple. What's nice is that these hands aren't rubbery in any way, which uh, means that you don't have to worry about the trigger finger uh, sliding out. You don't have to worry about the grip loosening. This is a very tight, very nice fit. And swapping the hands is pretty easy. Right now it's easy, but I suppose I can't really speak on the long-term durability. And it is a bit of a scary ball joint with this long stem here, but it doesn't feel rickety to me, so I think it should be able to survive some fairly light uh, amount of disconnection, reconnection. Little simple poses, just kind of holding his gun, about to fire his gun. Um, 
the new doe, at least going by this one, it seems that they're just very pleasant representations of the mecha in question, with very smooth joints and kind of evocative of just uh, a quiet a quiet evening by a fireplace, in a way. These are kind of like, as Revel Tech would be a wild night out at the clubs, the new doe seem to be um, a cozy night reading a book with a smoker jacket on, tossing a couple old receipts on the, the blaze in the, in the den, and uh, just kicking back and having a nice evening. So, would I recommend the new doe? Um, depends. Like Revel Tech, these guys online can sometimes be a little bit more pricey than I feel they're worth. Um, while these usually cost around 30 bucks, I think that's a little bit pricey for what you get. Also, I think I just discovered how these are put together. I did hear something about uh, New Doe using a sort of uh, modular skeletal system within, with the shell pieces around the outside being uh, customized to the toy in question. Um, that was a little bit odd. That hasn't happened to me before, but hey, it all went back together all right. It's not falling apart, so props there. Anyway, um, if you really love this design, and you're the kind of person who is way into Macross, you've probably spent a lot more than 30 bucks on representations of the YF-19. So, for a fan of this design, I'd say, hey, it's recommended because it's a great representation of it. If you find one of these for 20 bucks or under, though, it really is worth it. The build quality is superb, and the paint apps are clean, the joints... As you can see, they're not as super dynamic as Revel Tech, but hey, they're still pretty active. This dude could still totally give someone, like, a boot to the face. Like a flying YF-19 roundhouse kick kind of thing. So, they are definitely fun little desk toy action figures, and would make for a really nice display en masse. This one came to me care of HLJ, and I do thank them for that, because um, when they sent this to me, and at the time of this recording, this dude is on sale on HLJ, for about $11. And for $11, this dude is magnificent! Like, <laughs> it's hard to get across how much I would recommend this guy for $11 as opposed to $30. Now, the sale may be off by the time you see this video, but if it is still on, I would really recommend taking the dive, even if you only have a bit of a tertiary interest in Macross, because this is one of the cooler Macross designs, in my opinion. I mean, granted, I have a big bias, because my favorite Macross series is Macross Plus. If you're faced with the choice of having to buy this for $30, might want to be a fan first, but, you know, it's definitely pretty cool, and definitely, in my opinion, on par with Revel Tech. Not as an apples and apples comparison, but as an apples and oranges comparison, because, really, that is what they are. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist. I hope this review was helpful to you in some way, or at least introduced you to the idea of new dough. Or, at the very least, since I'm really not a line art guy, I hope that this has given you some uh, nice high-definition pornographic looks at several different angles of this figure, so that if you are a big line art guy, you've been able to make a bit of a judgment call based on what you've seen in here. Uh, remember, the pause button is your friend, and we can always do some more of this stuff. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy, and watch out for Sharon Apple, because you know how those computer chicks can be. Seriously.